Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to another episode of our RimWorld Altered Gear Carbon playthrough. In fact, this is almost certainly the last episode of our Altered Gear Carbon playthrough. The only thing we're missing right now is the Johnson Tanaka Drive, which, if we load up the planet here, as we know, is somewhere over, over hereabouts in the Green Hill Zone. And also this extra one that we unlocked from a map. Not the most useful map we ever got, but, you know, it, uh... It did some work for us. God, I hate how uneven <laughs> these, uh, solar panels are. But, hey, that's what you get when you're building next to a, uh, yeah. Also, I gotta make some synthetic lungs for... Who is it again? Wilcox? Who's got the, the asthma? Yeah, there we go. Two synthetic lungs. What do I need for those, anyway? A uh, hyperweave and an advanced component. Oh, and I need to make two surrogate lungs first. Alright, so we make these and then make those. That's kind of cool. You basically can upgrade your equipment. I like it. So that's what we're going to do. And, uh, let's see here. Let's tell the animals to stay in the ship. Oh, the ship, please. There we are. All right, so, and let's let's tell. In fact, you know what? Let's tell everyone to stay in the ship. I don't know if, uh, well, act, they have to be in the ship to get off planet. I don't think they have to be in their pods. I hope they don't have to be in their pods. That would uh, that'd make things a little awkward since I don't have enough pods. But hey, you know what? We're gonna learn all this stuff together. Maybe I'll let boss finish that before we go, just in case there's like weird shenanigans with that, like. Well, maybe this won't get taken to... No, surely stuff, even if it's lying on the floor, will be okay. Oh, you know what else? I forgot to mention a couple things. One, uh, we managed to get five cortical stacks in total. Why is there food being stored here? I expressly said no food, just the shells. Because I also brought these back just in case. And you know what? Screw you, infested ship module. You'll be someone else's problem, you know, in like 10,000 years when a mountain has formed over this and it becomes an ancient danger. And also the one over here. So then again, I guess those would be, uh, what else did we get? We got a whole bunch of stuff. The, the shells you see here. Uh, I brought these batteries back. Uh, can I not store this stuff? Is that a, uh, is that a thing I have done? Let's say all buildings. Before we leave... I guess I better unrestrict everyone for a second. What do you mean, no spot to store? This is, it's furniture. And I literally just said, hey, store all furniture. Hmm. Well, that's kind of, uh, irritating. Not gonna lie, but, uh... Oh, boy. Do I actually have to find this just to make sure that it's actually a thing I can store? Hmm. Production power. I can store a battery, that's for sure. You guys hold a bat. No spot to store. There's a spot right here. Right here. Is it. Shh, no, these don't have a quality rating on them. Surely, surely not. You know what? Screw it. We don't need that anyway. That can be a treasure for some future colony to find. And they'll wonder to themselves, what the heck is that doing there? And why is it uninstalled? Anyway, uh, I should probably tell our visitors to get lost because the... Wait, we do, we do have guests right now, don't we? Where's our guest tab? That's the quest tab. Oh, we have no guests. Well, in that case, let's uh, launch the ship. It needs 11. <laughs> oh, boy. Just when you think you've got everything. Now, realistically, I am pretty sure weight is not a factor. But in real life, I'm pretty sure you would want a certain balance in your fuel tanks. And I do have enough fuel just lying around that we can... Make that happen. Right. Probably should 
allow people to go outside of the ship for a second. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's just, uh, okay, that's being fueled up. And that's been fueled up as well. So tell everyone to get back inside the ship. And, yeah, we're going to let these horses stay behind there. They will go free. Go free, my horses. And actually, uh, is there an option to release them? There isn't. That's kind of weird to me, but all right. All right, Wilcox. Go ahead and finish that uh, synthetic lung you've been working on. In fact, it's going to be going into you soon, so make sure you uh, make sure you do a good job of it. All right, let's launch that ship. Just uh, drop that there, and here we go. Up, up, and away! Your colonists gaze in awe at the planet beneath them. Successfully launching a spacecraft is a major milestone, but you're not out of the rim yet. Okay, and we're back after uh, having to sort some funky stuff that happened when we launched. Also uh, of some note is that the shield does not completely cover the entire ship, so I might need to build a, a second shield, which I guess the smart thing to do would be to build it up here, but of course there's no room for it at the moment. A little unfortunate, but you know, that's how things go. Hakuja is wandering in confusion. Can we, uh... Well, we also know we need more crypto sleep caskets, so let's, uh, let's build a few more of those, shall we? I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, but we're gonna need some for the dogs and for ourselves as well. That's a never two. Um, we could, I guess, put some here. We'll just, we'll just squish them in wherever they fit, really, at this point. And then kind of, you know, figure, figure things out. And you know what? Having them distribute it means that if something horrible should happen while we're traveling the void of space, then not everyone will get killed at the same time. So, you know, that kind of works. Anyway, we're uh, we're also currently scanning for stuff because we do need that Johnson Tanaka drive. But I figure we could go ahead. We could. Oh yeah, these synthetic lungs. Let's pop them into Wilcox now while we can. So let's see. Install synthetic lung in the left. Install synthetic lung in the right. And you know what? While we're at it, let's give you a cortical stack. Cortical stacks for everyone. Go juice? When the heck did you get go juice? Anyway, let's not worry about that now. The important thing... Did I even have go juice for you to take? Apparently not. Or apparently yes. Anyway. The rains fall on the empty plain here. The horses have, uh... Yeah, they're home, I guess. This is... This is their land now. Kind of weirded out that you're doing this in here. Oh, you know what? I just noticed. These actually got, uh, turned from prisoner beds into just regular medical beds. Interesting. So apparently they prefer... What if I turn this into prisoner beds now? Will you guys uh, haul them away? They will. Good. All right. So yeah, they have their cortical stacks and our guns. And who needed the bionic hand anyway? Let's uh, check that one out. Do it's because someone lost a thumb. So, you know, instead of just replacing the thumb, we'll just give you a whole new hand. So you need a right hand that is bionic. Jolly good. Anyway, uh, while we're at it, let's let's go out and see. Where, where's our ship? 
Oh, there you are. Which conveniently, it's actually... Well, how's this working exactly? Actually, look at that, it's already, uh... We seem to be in a geosynchronous orbit bit, where we're just staying right here. But look, look at that, look how convenient that is. We actually are right in range. Why are you meditating in... Oh god, no, the, bu the rooms are all screwed up. Oh, that's irritating as all heck. Which, get it, get out of there, that's not your bed. Uh, do I really want to go for all the trouble? <laughs> Answer is not really, but I will. Abner, uh, Kesmond. Then we have, uh, who, is, who is Doc in a relationship with? Kid. All right, so you can have this room. Doc and Kit. And then it's Cam and Hakuja. And everyone else will get everyone else's beds. Cam and Hakuja. There we go. Alright, so that's all set. Uh, it's already a little dirty in here, apparently. You guys have no sense of cleanliness. I, I am also working on building some ships. I mean, if we can build a skip or two. Then we'll have military uh, capabilities, and who doesn't like military capabilities, right? And also, by giving as many people as possible some cortical stacks, we're making sure that, um, yeah, we'll be... People will not die in a horrible, horrible fashion. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna send, I think, just boss down. Well, no, I'm not gonna send just boss down. We'll give him some backup. Uh, boss, Gabella, Kit, and Kesmond. And we'll take Doc as well. They can head on down to the surface. Just them. And we're gonna get a look at what is required. And we're ready to go. But where are we? We're here. Oh, I hope I don't end up take using all my fuel for this. All right. And away we go. I mean, that's probably gonna... You know what, we can just take a never shuttle pod down with fuel. And there goes... That insect meat really rotted it away fast, didn't it? All right, let's see. I mean, in, uh, in Vanilla Rim World, uh, this would not be... Oh, you didn't actually memorize, uh, that you do have a gun. Also, forget about the knife. Alright, so down we go. So note to self, make sure Wilcox, uh, uh, visit landed ship. Please tell me you're going to bring the shuttle pod with you. Because if you don't, that would really, really suck. Alright. I mean, the landed ship is usually an easy thing in vanilla. You just start up the ship and away you go. Okay, we have found the ship. You've reached the coordinates. Okay, sent by... Charlon Whitestone and discovered the hidden spacecraft. The ship is ready for launch, but its chem fuel engines can only get you into orbit. To go further, you need to somehow acquire a Johnson Tanaka drive. Perhaps clues can be found amidst the orbital debris. Okay. Ah, so you're telling me there was no real reason to go here? Also, that is a really dinky little ship, isn't it, compared to what we've got? Oh well, we can always scrap it for parts. All right, lads, let's, uh, there's a lot of components around here. And I gotta say, I like this kind of sheltered valley. Well, it's not exactly a valley, is it? But you know what I mean, it's pretty cool. Also, I think this is marble, so we can make some fancy art out of that. There, uh, there is in fact a door. And the door is ours. So let's, uh, at Mr. Ship. No, I normally include you in these things. Yay. 
Oh yeah, how much fuel is left on our ship anyway? Uh, apparently almost no fuel. That's a bit of a problem. Oh god, we actually... No, stop. Oh dear. Alright, in the future remember to bring a full complement of... of uh, fuel. Because now we're going to have to send someone else down in the other ship. Might as well send this. Yeah, we'll need... Uh, I don't know how many uranium ore rods we're going to need to get back into orbit. But let's uh, let's just make sure we bring enough. Abner has not picked up her gun yet. Mildly irritating, but okay. Uh, Abner. Installing... Oh, no, wait. You're installing a hand... Okay, so you've got a whole bunch of jobs to do before you even head down to the surface. Meanwhile, let's investigate the ship. Make sure that, you know, there's no shenanigans. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can get fuel from this. And we can take these crypto sleep caskets rather than building our own. Though we've apparently already built... Most of, you know what we'll bring we'll bring them up anyway just to make sure we have enough. Yeah, I mean better to be safe than sorry, right? And we can un we can start tearing apart every oh oh ho. Yeah, let's go ahead and destroy some of these things. And these crypto sleep caskets are built out of uh, or require uranium. We can name the ship. Why didn't I think of that? Anyway, let's uh, start having everyone, you know, just kind of work on deconstructing stuff. Okay, so not entirely sure what happened here, but there is an entanglement manifold at our base for some reason. All right, let's go and uh, take boss and... 100 fuel, because we're going to need that to get back into... There, there we are. You know, let's take 150 just... now. Yeah, you know what, we'll take 200. Just to be super safe about that. Okay, so not entirely sure what was going on there, but there's our entanglement manifold. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna anesthetize our animals so we can stick them in the appropriate uh, pods. Yeah, and they're the only ones who are still awake, so... Yeah, we just put them to sleep and then... Once they are... Okay, loading is complete. Boss is... Boss is wearing his helmet, right? I can't click on him, so I don't know if he's actually wearing it or not, but... In any case, down we go. Nope, might as well land right next to the entanglement manifold. Anyway. So yeah, we just need to pick this up and then I guess since boss can is already equipped in his spacesuit, might as well uh Might as well get him to uh do all the space Oh my goodness, how long is it taking for this to Boss? Oh, there's your ship. Oh boy. Takes a while to get into space, doesn't it? Or to get from space back to land. But, you know, that's that's okay. We're gonna... We're gonna do this. I'll be honest with you. This feels slightly less dramatic than I... Than I was kind of expecting it to be. Okay, very first thing. Refuel the ship. And, uh, let's mark this as a... What the heck is this? Okay, drop spot. Make this critical. When you're done eating... What are you talking about? There's no place to store it. There's a place to store it right here. <laughs> That's irritating as all heck. Anyway, uh... No, we're not going to take them. They can stay on their own. Oh, good. We actually 
can pick that up. Do I want to bring any of this stuff with us? Nah, as I've said before, we'll leave that for whoever, whoever shows up in the future on this place. Give them a little something. All right, so entanglement manifold. Though, since it landed right next to the drop spot, I assume there's a reason for that. All right, back into space we go. What a weird encounter. Anyway, we're, uh, yeah, just heading on back to the ship, taking our time, and so on. All right. I gotta be honest with you, the whole, uh, entanglement manifold thing. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Not enough uranium. Ah, uh, are you telling me I now have to go find uranium? That is irritating. I had enough uranium in the past, but no longer. Oh, yeah, I think, uh, while I was looking at this, we also need to have 100,000 units of power, and we only have 83,000 units of power. But then again, this thing just keeps on on uh, getting up there. Actually, wait, 60. Each of these has the potential capacity for 10. Oh, maybe I should have brought those batteries. I mean, <laughs> those, those batteries wouldn't have been enough. Oh god, no, I forgot to drag these guys off to their crypto sleep caskets. All right, hang on. Gotta anesthetize you again. That's my fault. All right, you uh, put Buddy in a crypto sleep casket. We have arrived. Can I deconstruct the uranium pods for fuel? That'd be nice. No, no, you're already wearing your helmet. Don't wear a different helmet. That's just silly. There we are, just venting the ship into space. Perfectly fine, or I guess venting this into space. Kind of. All right, so yeah, now we just need to acquire some more uranium. That shouldn't be too difficult. Is Wilcox still awake? I think I put him to sleep, I did, so he's never gonna finish this. Why? Why did you change your helmet? Making life so difficult. Ah, <sighs> boy. Anyway, uh, yeah, so... Okay, we've got the skip. Need your... You can put the other stuff in place. Like the components and the manifold. Anyway, I'm gonna go find us some um, uranium and I will catch up with you when the catching up is good. Okay then, looks like we are in business. First of all, we had a bunch of traders passing by who we were able to do some business with. And second of all, uh, if we go back into space, I went to the other place over here, the, or the crash ship, landed ship, what have you, and yeah, we uh, harvested the uh, crypto sleep pods for uranium there. So overall, everyone got exactly what they wanted. Yeah, all right. Uh, what is boss doing? You know what? He's kind of hungry after all the work I put him through, so we'll let him handle that. And, you know, then we'll haul all this stuff in, and then we'll build the Johnson Tanaka Drive, and then we can get the heck out of here. Guys, uh, we're so close. We're almost at maximum capacity. Though we're burning power for some reason. I turned these off, so we shouldn't be using those. I don't think these use power. Or maybe we're on the night side of the planet, so we're not actually generating uh, enough? I guess. Some, something's going on here. You know, I'll just turn off the guns for now. I mean, we don't need the guns on. We're not, at, we're not fighting anybody. I have some level of faith that it's all good. Oh yeah, we'll we'll take care of all this. I don't like seeing the chem fuel. He 
You know what? Now that I think about it, maybe they're they're uh, they're acting so weird because they're trying to refuel, but due to some weird pathing things, they're like trying to go outside in order to do it. Hmm. Yeah, because like look at Tara here. It seems like. And it says refueling, but then all she does is just uh, grabs the chem fuel and then leaves. But yeah, there's there's some kind of pathing shenanigans happening here. It's kind of irritating. I, you know what would be nice, actually, if uh, Save Our Ship had some kind of thing so that I could just dump the fuel and I don't know some kind of object, and then it would would be uh, evenly distributed amongst the the rockets. But we really only need the rocket engines for taking off and landing. What we should work on instead is just building the Johnson Tanaka Drive. We can worry about fuel and such later. You know, I've got to be honest, these landed ship things... Such cool areas. In fact, this almost looks like the same map as the first one, doesn't it? Wonder if there is something behind that. Who knows? What I do know is that, uh... Probably gonna be a lot of, uh... We, uh, we're ready for launch. All right, this is the moment. This is it. We can go to a new planet, which will actually send us to a new planet, and I don't think will actually give us the classic uh, RimWorld ending, but, you know, still. Uh, you are about to embark on a journey spanning years or decades, during which time no communication with your planet-bound colonies will be possible. It is unlikely they will be able to survive on their own. Furthermore, any colonists or animals aboard the ship will not survive the journey unless they are in crypto sleep. Right. I mean, technically, I'm sure they could get into crypto sleep on their own uh, in time, but, uh, you know, we'll, uh, and Abner, what is Abner doing? You're uh, refueling, so as soon as you're done with that, uh, find an empty pod and get in it. Is there anyone sleeping in these? No, these are empty. Alrighty then. Okay, looks like the whole ship is set. Alright, go to a new planet. And so Abraham, the boss Jenkins, and his ragtag crew of misfits escaped that backwater rim world. Setting their sights on greener pastures, they set out across the vast expanse of stars, seeking a better future, one free of the conflict that had plagued them on their old home. Will they succeed? Will they survive? Who knows? End of the day, it's all just drama to me.